Yeah, good on you, Mob. Just thought I'd have a bit of a look at some old uh, retro technology. You know, I've been finding in the shed here. And this thing here is an old helium neon laser tube. It's a beautiful thing. It's a uh, sealed glass tube containing a mixture of helium neon gas and it's energized with a 6000 volt 6.5 milliamp power supply. These give a really nice red color and uh, just a lovely piece of work this thing. We'll, we'll fire it up and show you how it goes. Well, next to this tube, we have the big brother. This is a CO2 laser and it's rated at 80 to 85 watts, 23 milliamps. And this one's been lying around the shed for some time too, as you can see by the accumulation of dust on this poor thing. Well, I shall endeavour to connect this one up and see if I get some life out of it. And this is the power supply just here for it. It's a fairly grunty sort of power supply. Rated at 50 kV at 35 milliamp. Can have a quick look at the drivers on it. Has like a like a very large flyback coil, so it's a bit like a ZBS sort of unit. The control board, driver board here. I spent a bit of time trying to work out how to drive it. Haven't been able to find much useful information on the net, so I sort of had to wing it a bit. To establish that it needs a 5 volt enable input and also has a 0 to 5 volts voltage reference to uh, drive the output voltage. So, having done that, I've wired up some switches here just to at least 
get this thing running. So all I need to do is just to uh, connect it to the tube and see if we can get any fun out of this thing. Okay, now the tube is cleaned and I've also got it connected. And we can have a good look at this beautiful uh, glassware workmanship inside this thing. Beautifully made. And coming down to the aperture end down here. See any plasma going on in this tube. The power supply is now switched on and enabled. So it should be something going on here, but obviously there's not. Okay, we turn this off for a sec. Just see if we've still got any residual high voltage up here. You can hear the corona. Yeah, discharging it now. Here we go. So it looks like I had I did have a high voltage. Whether it's sufficient to ignite the tube, I don't know, but at the moment it's looking like the tube may have gone down to air and it's possibly lost its gas so I'll have to do some further experiments on this one but anyway thanks for watching and till next time we'll, we'll catch you later Well, high voltage seems to be okay, so it seems likely that the tube's the problem. <laughs>